So we're going to be using the laser cutter today with 2D design. Okay, this is our CAD program we're going to be working on, but we can use any CAD program that we want um, as long as it produces DXF files. So DXF files are the file that we're going to use with our laser cutter there. So the first thing we're going to do is open up 2D design and create our shape. Now I've just created a very basic shape and we're using two different line colours. We're using red as our cut colour and we're using black as our engraved cutter colour. Sorry. So I've used um, a red outline which will cut a red square and I've put a black square on the inside so it will engrave a small black square on the inside. Now the reason why we use these two colours is down to standardisation and standards. Okay. In our department we use red as our cut colour and we use black as our engraved colour. Now we could use any colours that we want from the palette on 2D Design or whatever program we're using but to make things easier if we only use those two colours, colours then you recognise the colour and so do I. Okay, So we both know that red means cut and black means engraved. So I've drawn my shape and what I'm going to do is export this as a DXF. So I'll just go to File at the top of the Techsoft uh, menu and choose Export File. And I'm just going to call it File 1. Okay, I'm putting it on the desktop so that I know where it is. Okay, if you guys are obviously saving your work, it's useful to put it into your um, areas, somewhere into a DT folder or something like this, so you can remember where it is when you later come to um, find it on the, the file. So, with my file exported, I'm then going to open up the um, RD Works program. So this is what it looks like, uh, just on the desktop there, RD Works version 8. I load it up, and I'm going to go to File and Import. Import being the opposite of Export, obviously. And we're going to find our file, so we called it File 1. And when we load it in, it will come up zoomed in on the page, okay? Now, there's a misconception about using CAD software, so that when you see the images on the page, you think, okay, that's the size it actually is, okay? That's obviously not the case, because we can zoom in and out using the mouse tool, okay? Or using the, uh, the various magnifying tools and stuff on the program. Now when you um, see the file loaded up, you'll notice there is a green dot on one corner of the object. It might be the top left, the top right, down the bottom, or in the middle, okay? This is the origin point of where the laser is going to start cutting, okay? So if this is ever in a position apart from the top left, we should go to Config and System Setting at the top, and make sure where it says laser head, it's always set to the top left, okay? And this makes sure that when we go to set up our material, it's going to start cutting in that top left corner, which is the easiest, in my opinion, uh, to know where to cut. Now, in terms of parameters, what we've got to do is set what we want our laser to do for the red and the black colours. As I said, you could have multiple colours, all doing slightly different things, but as a standard, we use red and black. Okay. Now, if we double-click on one of these colours where it says red, it will open up a menu where we can input the parameters. There are two key parameters that you need to use with a laser cutter. And these are speed and power, controlling the power and speed of the laser going through. Now, if you're lucky enough to have already had someone set these um, settings for you for various materials, you'll be able to go into the load parameters section at the top and choose the material that you're cutting. I'm going to be choosing 3mm MDF, so I choose load, and it will load the speed and power in for that, so I can just click OK. I've already done the engraving there. Now, when we talk about engraving, okay, it's sometimes called scan on this machine, okay, so scan means it's going to kind of colour in or sort of slightly scratch out the surface on the on the uh, the material that we're using, okay. Now, when I'm engraving, if I, if I want to just engrave a very light box, what I'm actually doing is cutting, but I'm cutting at very high speed and at a very low power. So what it does is it doesn't cut all the way through the material, it just cuts a little way in, which is why we talk about it in terms of engraving. So if we look on the black colour I've chosen there, I'm using a speed of 600 and a very low power of 15% to make sure it's not going to cut all the way through the material. Okay? When this is ready um, to um, send, all I do is click on download, and I'm going to give it a very simple name. I'm just going to keep it as file one there and click OK. Now what we should see is it will come up and say file download success, and that's how we know it's reached our laser card. So, this is our laser cutter, we need to do some settings on this as our next part of what we're doing. So we'll open up the lid, 
and we're going to obviously choose our material. So I was setting my parameters for 3mm uh, MDF, okay? So this is the material that I'm going to be using on the machine. So what I do is place my MDF piece in, okay? And I'm going to put it into the top left corner. Now, if you're lucky enough, you'll notice that the uh, laser is already set in the right position, but we can use the controls on the control panel at the top. We've got a top, up, left, down, and right on this green panel uh, over here where I can move the laser around. So if we look at the laser and I press these buttons, you can see it moves it around. I want to try and move it to as close to that top left as I can to kind of set the position and make sure I don't waste lots of material. And when I'm ready with that start place, I press the origin button. So origin means start, okay, or it means the, the birth of things, okay. It's going to start in that top left corner if I press the origin there, okay. Now the other thing I need to do is check that the height of the laser, the focal length of the laser is correct, okay. Now the focal length of the laser that I'm using is 12 millimeters. So we use this with a physical block, okay. This block here is 12 millimeters in thickness, okay. And what we're going to do is place this underneath the laser um, module, the, the part that's going to be cutting the laser head there, okay, to check that that height is correct, okay. If it's not correct, what I need to do is move the laser bed up and down on the z-axis to make sure it's um, in the right place. So I'm going to check this is in the right place. Firstly, I press the ZU button to set the movement to the z-axis, and then, a bit strange, but I'm going to press the right uh, arrow to go down. So I'm moving it down away from the laser first, and I'm going to turn on the compressor. Now what the compressor does is it blows a small amount of air out of the laser head, okay? And then what I'll do is slowly advance the bed, going in an upwards direction, until such point that it blocks off that air supply. So I'll keep going up and listening to the air. It will gradually get a higher and higher pitch until eventually we can't hear the air at all. And that's where we know it's focused. At this point, I can turn the compressor off just while I'm finishing my setup and remove the block to make sure that that doesn't get damaged. This is now set up so I can close my lid and I'm ready to laser cut. Okay. Now we said we sent the file, so if I just press escape to come out of the normal menu and choose file, I will see all of the things that have been sent to the laser cutter and if you're lucky enough you might have a window that shows you an image of what you're going to cut before you actually choose it. If we press enter, uh, this will select the file and it will show us again what we've got in terms of our file and it will also show us our parameters. So that was our cut colour, our red and our black colour, which is speed and power as well for both settings. So this is absolutely ready to cut. Okay. Now in terms of uh, cutting, before we're kind of ready to go, we've got to do a couple of last things which are kind of to do with health and safety. Okay. Number one, we turn our chiller on. So if your laser machine um, has a chiller, this has to be turned on because what it does is it cools the laser module which is in the uh, laser. If you don't turn the chiller on, okay, it might mean that the laser will break effectively or it will have a cutout that basically says I'm not going to cut if the chiller's not on, so you'll have a safety cutout there, okay. Now the other thing we need to do, as we said, is we turn the compressor on, okay. Now what the compressor does is it blows air around the laser head, okay, and it forces out any waste material, okay, it pushes the waste material down into the waste bed underneath the laser cutter, okay. If you don't turn the compressor on, what you can find is it heats up all the material to the point where it ignites and you end up having a fire on the inside of the laser cutter. So it's important that we turn the compressor on as well, okay. The last thing we need to do is turn on our extraction. So we're, when we're finally ready to, to um, cut, we turn on the extraction and this will suck any dangerous fumes or um, particulates that are very small out of the laser as it cuts. So we turn this on and then we're going to start cutting. We wait a few seconds until it gets started and then we're ready to cut. So I'm going to press the start button, we're going to look at our laser over there. In this case, it does the engraving first and then cuts with our laser. And what we do is, once it's finished cutting, we leave the extraction on for a few seconds, okay? To make sure that all of that waste gas and particulates are taken outside and extracted safely. When we're happy with that, we can turn the laser extraction off, the chiller can go off, and we can turn the compressor off, we can finish cutting for the day, okay? Now just a final little check, and this is just, just a little quality assurance on your part, or a quality control check, is before we just take the material out, what I like to do is just give it a little tap, 
and make sure that the whole of the MDF piece, or in this case MDF, but any material, the piece is completely cut out, okay? If it was slightly still stuck into the mould, or sorry, slightly still uh, stuck into the material, what we might do is close the laser cutter, run the same file again on a slightly faster speed, and just do the final little bits of cutting. So I'm going to just check this, we can see it's come out easily from the uh, machine there, and we have our finished product. So that's how we set up this laser cutter.